Hello everyone and welcome back to Prestige Reef. I recently featured a product as part of the Mega Build series, and since showing it I've never had so many people request one of my unboxing videos. That product is the KH Director by GHL. This is a great way of showing you how the comment section works, as if enough people ask for a video I'll try my best to make it for you. For those of you that don't know, the KH Director automatically tests your tank's alkalinity, with what claims to be lab grade accuracy of up to 0.1 dkh, while also having the ability to increase it if necessary. In my opinion, alkalinity is the most important parameter to monitor for a mature reef tank. It drops much quicker than some of the other parameters, as it's in much lower quantities, and it has two main functions. Corals consume carbonate to build their skeletons, while it also buffers acids which help stabilise pH. I can honestly say it has already fundamentally changed my experience with the hobby on a day-to-day -day basis, and has potentially saved one of my tanks. Firstly, I got into the habit of testing alkalinity daily, which does take a little extra effort, but it's well worth it if you want to know exactly what's going on with your system. And secondly, recently I was unwell, and due to what is currently going on in the world, I had to isolate. Many of you will know that my 1000 litre tank is still at my parents' house, where I visit every day to check on everything. This, obviously, I couldn't do. Marine tanks don't usually do well without us as their obedient servants, and even more so when there has been no prior preparation to prepare the tank for our absence. This is where I was incredibly grateful that I decided to temporarily set up the Proflux 4 controller, dosing pump, and KH director on that tank just to test them out before the mega build was ready. They gave me peace of mind as I had constant data I could work with, and although I couldn't see the tank, at least I knew what was going on with some of the chemistry. It also allowed me to adjust the parameters by using the dosing pump, which is connected to my phone. With regards to my illness, fortunately my test results came back negative, and it was just something normal. Inside the box you get the unit itself, dosing pump, pH probe, power cables with splitter which I thought was a nice touch as it means I only need to use one outlet, reagent, and calibration fluids. The unit itself feels like it's made from high quality materials, and is exactly the same size and shape as the other GHL products, which means they're stackable and space saving. They can also be positioned side by side, you just need to make sure you cut the hoses that connect to the dosing pump to the correct length depending on what way you want to position them. There are two ways to run it, either standalone or with a Proflux controller, and there are also two ways of setting up as well, either via computer or using the GHL app on your phone. I can only comment on using it with a Proflux controller and setting up with a computer because that's what I did, and as you know by now, I try to only comment on what I know. However, I believe the only difference is email notifications with the Proflux. I'm not going to pretend the setup was quick, and although it felt daunting at first, it actually wasn't too bad. I just followed GHL's YouTube videos, which I'll put a link for in the description box below, and kept pausing it during each stage of the process. I believe it took me about an hour, but this wasn't because it was difficult. To ensure maximum accuracy, the unit and the dosing pumps require calibrating, which I did twice just to make sure. A lot of people ask me what the best cage to run their tank is, and I've run my 1000 litre system previously anywhere between 8 and 12. Unless I'm trying to achieve something like advanced coral growth, I'm usually less interested in the number itself, and I'm more interested in consistency, where I can see the same results again and again, with either a slow rise or slow fall over a period of time, to let me know if I'm dosing too much or too little. I decided at the start of August I wanted to increase my alkalinity, slowly from 8 to 9 over the course of a month. I increased the amount that I was dosing, and as you can see from the graph, it pretty much did it for me automatically, letting me know each day if I was on track. The graph is a nice touch because I no longer have to either try to remember my last results, or even write them down. And who remembers their results from 4 or 5 tests ago? At the moment, I only have it set to test once a day, at 6.50am, so that I have the results for when I wake up in the morning. However, once it's installed on the mega build, I'll have them test each system every 8 hours. There potentially could be over 10,000 frags in those systems, so having a constant pulse of what the chemistry is doing is invaluable, and the reagent refills aren't expensive, so it's an easy decision to make. I can honestly say this is without a doubt my favourite piece of equipment that I've had in a long time. The last time I remember feeling like this was when I got my first dosing pump. 
At first, you look at the prices and think, do I need this? I've been manually doing this myself for years. And then, once you get one, you can't figure out how you ever live without it. There is something quite special about having a robot do a mundane task for you, and I now can't wait for the Ion Director to be released which in theory should virtually eliminate the need for me to do almost all water testing. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. If you did enjoy it, why not click that like and subscribe button. Have a good week, and I'll see you next time.